I rise today to begin to filibuster John Brennan's nomination for the CIA. I will speak until I can no longer speak. I will speak as long as it takes until the alarm is sounded from coast to coast that our Constitution is important, that your rights to trial by jury are precious, that no American should be killed by a drone on American soil without first being charged with a crime, without first being found to be guilty by a court, that Americans could be killed in a cafe in San Francisco or in a restaurant in Houston or at their home in Bowling Green, Kentucky, is an abomination. It is something that should not and cannot be tolerated in our country. I don't rise to oppose John Brennan's nomination simply for the person. I rise today for the principle. The principle is one that as Americans we have fought long and hard for, and to give up on that principle, to give up on the Bill of Rights, to give up on the Fifth Amendment protection that says that no person shall be held without due process, that no person shall be held for a capital offense without being indicted. This is a precious American tradition and something we should not give up on easily. They say Lewis Carroll is fiction. Alice never fell down a rabbit hole, and the White Queen's caustic judgments are not really a threat to your security. Or has America the Beautiful become Alice's Wonderland? No, no, said the Queen. Sentence first, verdict afterwards. Stuff and nonsense, Alice said widely, loudly. The idea of having the sentence first? Hold your tongue, said the Queen, turning purple. I won't, said Alice. Release the drones, said the Queen, as she shouted at the top of her voice. Lewis Carroll is fiction, right? When I asked the President, can you kill an American on American soil, it should have been an easy answer. It's an easy question. It should have been a resounding and unequivocal no. The president's response, he hasn't killed anyone yet. We're supposed to be comforted by that. The president says, I haven't killed anyone yet. He goes on to say, and I have no intention of killing Americans, but I might. Is that enough? Are we satisfied by that? Are we so complacent with our rights that we would allow a president to say he might kill Americans, but he will judge the circumstances? He will be the sole arbiter. He will be the sole decider. He will be the executioner in chief if he sees fit. Now, some would say he would never do this. Many people give the president the, you know, they give him consideration. They say he's a good man. I'm not arguing that he's not. What I'm arguing is that the law is there and set in place for the day when angels don't rule government. Madison said that the restraint on government was because government will not always be run by angels. This has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with whether the president is a Democrat or a Republican. Were this a Republican president, I'd be here saying exactly the same thing. No one person no one politician should be allowed to judge the guilt, to charge an individual, to judge the guilt of an individual, and to execute an individual. It goes against everything that we fundamentally believe in our country. This isn't even new to our country. There's 800 years of English law that we found our tradition upon. We found it upon the Magna Carta from 1215. We found it upon Morgan of Glamorgan from 725 A.D. We found it upon the Greeks and Romans who had juries. It is not enough to charge someone to say that they are guilty. Now, some might come to this floor and they might say, well, what if we're being attacked on 9-11? What if there are planes flying at the Twin Towers? Obviously, we repel them. We repel any attack on our country. 
If there's a gentleman or a woman with a grenade launcher attacking our buildings or our capital, we use lethal force. You don't get due process if you're involved with actively attacking us, our soldiers, or our government. You don't get due process if you're overseas in a battle shooting at our soldiers. But that's not what we're talking about. The Wall Street Journal reported and said that the bulk of the drone attacks are signature attacks. They don't even know the name of the person. A line or a caravan is going from a place where we think there are bad people to a place where we think they might commit harm, and we kill the caravan, not the person. Is that the standard that we will now use in America? Will we use a standard for killing Americans to be that we thought you were bad, we thought you were coming from a meeting with bad people, and you were in a line of traffic, and so therefore you were fined for the killing? That is the standard we're using overseas. Is that the standard we're going to use here? I will speak today until the president responds and says, no, we won't kill Americans in cafes. No, we won't kill you at home in your bed at night. No, we won't drop bombs on restaurants. Is that so hard? It's amazing that the president will not respond. I've been asking this question for a month. It's like pulling teeth to get the president to respond to anything. And I get no answer. The president says he hasn't done it yet, and I'm to be comforted. You are to be comforted in your home. You are to be comforted in your restaurant. You are to be comforted online communicating in your email that the president hasn't killed an American yet on the homeland. He says he hasn't done it yet. He says he has no intention to do so. Hayek said that nothing distinguishes arbitrary government from a government that is run by the, 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 the whims of the people than the rule of law. The law is an amazingly important thing, an amazingly important protection. And for us to give up on it so easily really doesn't speak well of what our founding fathers fought for, what generation after generation of American soldiers have fought for, what soldiers are fighting for today when they go overseas to fight wars for us. It doesn't speak well of what we're doing here to protect the freedom at home. When our soldiers are abroad fighting for us, that we say that our freedom's not precious enough for one person to come down and say, enough's enough, Mr. President. Come clean, come forward and say you will not kill Americans on American.